Hey everybody, <coughs> excuse me, it's coming up to 1 in the afternoon on Wednesday and I'm still here at my parents' driveway. Um, yeah, I got everything back together, I cleaned out the throttle body and I put the new TPS in, the new oxygen sensor in, and uh, she's still running real funny um, when she's cold. She's surging, I can't stabilize the idle at 675, uh, 725, and I've pretty much replaced all the sensors at this point, SANS 1. We'll get into that in a little bit. But I decided to go ahead and um, do a, a diagnostic code check, which on these on these vans, this uh, van doesn't have a check engine light. So I had to make a check engine light using a couple of wires and an old uh, indicator light. <laughs> and I had to short the diagnostics port and plug that in and it gave me codes and I was getting weird codes particularly code 31 and what that code 31 is EGR EVP sensor um, intermittently falling falling below a quarter of a volt which doesn't make any sense because I the EGR is brand new the sensor is brand new I replaced them less than a year ago and then when I did a resistance test of the EVP uh, it was within parameters and normal uh, except for one reading, which was slightly high, but nothing to be worried about. So I was really confused. I started to go back through all the sensors uh, to make sure that all the sensors were working and that the wires weren't broken or I didn't accidentally, you know, unplug a vacuum line. Uh, when I got to the new TPS, I decided to do a uh, reference voltage check. And what that means is, is that the ECU should be giving all your sensors the same voltage coming out of the EC or into the sensor and in Ford's case it's 5 volts and then depending on the sensor and I'm just going to use TPS as an example here with the throttle all the way closed with the engine key on but not running I should see no more than 0.9 volts coming out of the sensor back to the computer but uh, nope that's not what I was seeing um, the reference voltage was up to 12 volts and I was seeing 12 volts coming out of the sensor and that pretty much means only one thing, guys. And, uh, yeah, I fix one thing. Five things have to break uh, while I fix the original problem. The electronic control module is no good. Somehow it fried itself. I don't know how it fried itself, but it did. Um, when I took the ECU out, it's just hanging out right there. It's in front of the... Uh, um, it's in front of the heater core on the outside with a little cover on it. So I know water didn't get to it or anything like that. So it just happened to fry. And uh, when I looked at it, I realized it's the original um, ECU from the factory. So that's, that ECU has been in this van since it was brand new. Um, it still has the inspector sticker on it from Ford Motor Company from the assembly line. So I had to order a new ECU, guys. Luckily, it was only $113, so we're not talking about breaking the bank. Um, so that's going to be here in a couple of hours. Um, hopefully, when I plug that thing in, with the battery disconnected and get everything all uh, back together she'll finally run right uh, it's been weeks and she's getting like five miles per gallon right now because it's running so rich and poorly and while I was at it I decided for an extra 25 bucks I had might as well swap out the last final sensor that I haven't swapped out and that is again the EVP sensor um, one of the readings is slightly high but I figure at this point I've spent so much time and so much money on this thing I just might as well make sure I can change the last uh, sensor. So hopefully that puts an end to the engine repairs and I can finally get around to the transmission service which once again I've had to put on hold so I can fix the cascading problems with the fuel injection on this thing. So anyways I hope everybody's doing okay. I got a little while to sit back. Uh, I'm just drinking some beer. I'm gonna roll myself a cigarette and sit outside for a little while and of course it started to rain on me like an hour ago so you know some sometimes just sometimes just nothing is fair but it's all good life wouldn't be life with if everything always turned out the way you wanted alrighty bye bye guys by the way just a really quick postscript everybody um, Susie's van life I'm sorry I haven't gone back to you yet I did get the email um, I don't know why I brain farted and didn't see the email you sent me a couple days ago but I didn't see it until somebody pointed out uh, to me to check my email again so I did and there it was and I'm like oh, how come I didn't see this but anyways 
Sorry, I haven't gotten back to you. Um, I'm going to try and get back to you um, either early tomorrow morning or sometime this evening. I don't know what your work schedule is, so uh, I'm sorry if I call you at in an inconvenient time, but I will try. Um, I'm kind of up to my eyeballs right now. i got to get this van running again for tomorrow so I can go back into the woods. Uh, because, you know, I love my parents, but, man, they're driving me fucking batshit. So, uh, yeah, I will get back to you very, very soon, and we'll talk about the camper truck and all that other stuff. Okay, good to go.